Bemidji State University is currently facing a large budget deficit, which could force more layoffs in the future. And this has caused the university's inner faculty organization to work to prevent that. Justin Othout has our story. Back in May of this year, Bemidji State University laid off over 20 individuals as a response of budget deficits. And now it seems more layoffs may be in store for the university. Right now, the, for this past fiscal year, we're going to post about an $11 million to $10 million deficit, um, leaving us with about $7 million in the bank. Um, that leaves us with very little room for further deficits. We will be laying off more employees probably in September. Um, so we're working with folks on campus to, in, to get input on those decisions. Some of BSU's budgetary issues can be linked back to the COVID-19 pandemic, which saw enrollment rates drop dramatically from the university. We have four years of declining enrollment through the pandemic that really hit us harder than most colleges and universities out there. And so we've lost close to a third of our students. And that affects our, our revenues uh, as well. Bemidji State is somewhat unique in that it serves a large area of some of the poorest parts of the state and has very few reserves. This issue is, of course, not unique to BSU, as according to an analysis from the Chronicle of Higher Education, roughly 61% of post-secondary institutions saw a net tuition revenue decline across the country as a result of the pandemic. We are being affected by the same weather, but we have a different house. What we need to do now is build an employment structure at our institution that fits with the revenues that we're confident in that will help us position to grow and to serve those students. The potential layoffs caused by these budgetary issues is something that the university's chapter of the interfaculty organization is trying to avoid, as the union has engaged in several cost-cutting measures to ensure staff will remain employed. Uh, we are volunteering to take larger classes and we are delaying as many repairs and, and new purchases as we can. To give you one example, um, my office no longer has a phone in it. I realized the university could save $108 by not having a phone line for me, so I gave it up along with everyone in my department. I don't want the end of that story to be that a lot of faculty lost their jobs and staff and, uh, and that programs were minimized or closed. Whether these attempts to prevent layoffs are successful, BSU administration hopes that no matter the outcome, BSU will still support its students. We've got 100 years of students um, who didn't know they had options to go to college, finding their way to Bemidji State, having a transformational experience, going out and change the world. That's what's going to get us through this and making sure that we create those stories for future generations of, of beavers. Reporting in Bemidji, I'm Justin Othout. Lakeland News. BSU administration says more information about the potential layoffs will be discussed this coming September with the university's IFO chapter hoping to engage in open communication with the administration. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.